was talking about Mas Nambekano, talking about how Ojuku went to the bank in Benin during the war to steal. You know, so many they, 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 they say so many things. I have I have them on video. I've been so down all day because I don't like the I I don't like what happened to be honest. So I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay. I, I can understand. So guys, it's not AI, this is Amaka herself. So let me start by saying this. Um how because I know you acted on the moment and guys god is my witness i didn't rehearse anything with amaka i wanted it to be as raw as possible i am not here to defend her i'm not here to support to support her what i'm here to do is to give her an opportunity to see her own side of the story now amaka can you please let us know how all this what led to that video that we saw online and was it actually you talking in that video okay thank you yeah so i i joined tiktok a couple of um months ago not up to a year but you know when i joined tiktok i go to every you know you know tiktok can just you know direct you to to the fyp to view uh random videos right mm -hmm. and then Sorry, what, what is fyp because i'm not too conversation is that for you it's called for you page Okay, for you, page. Okay. So uh, you, uh, what they do, TikTok uh, recommends. It depends on how. It depends on the, the people you view. If you view anything from Nigeria mm -hmm. or Kenya or Ghana, they recommend mm -hmm. things for you from that country. Okay. For example, I added a lot of celebrities from Nigeria, so they recommend. They recommended the uh, Nigerian things, um, you know, platforms and you know things like that. Sure, sure, sure. So every FYP that I see is always people talking about Igbos. Mm -hmm. You know, the Benin people, the Yorubas, just these two people, to be honest, no other person, just the Benins and the Yorubas. Maybe a little bit of other other tribes, but the, the ones that I really saw was the Yorubas and the, and the Benins. Okay, so every FYP is about Igbos, right? They're talking about evils, talking about Mas Namdekano, talking about how Ojuku went to the bank in Benin during the war to steal. You know, so many, they, 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 they say so many things. I have, I have them on video. You know, if you want, I can play some of it for you. And yeah, sometimes they make, sorry? Go ahead. Yes, that's what I would like to play some of. The, I mean, today is whatever you, we want to know what led to that outburst. So please. Yeah, that's what I, that's why I'm driving on, so. Yeah, if there are videos you want to play, uh, go ahead by all means. Okay. So sometimes they, you know, they talk about how Ujuku went to Benin during the, during the war. He stole five five million pounds in the in the bank. That Ujuku must return it. If not, they're gonna always slander the the names of Ndibo. You know. So I, I would just, sometimes I, I just I click in to go to their platform so that I can contribute. But I found out that majority of these people are not educated, right? When I'm talking left, they are going right. When I'm going right, they're going left. You know, the understanding is not there because most of these people are from Benin and, um, and uh, you know, I don't know if they know the history. I don't know if they know the history because I never, my parents never told me how Ojuku went to the bank and how Namdekano is a pedophile you know uh things like that you know so this has been happening sometimes i send requests to go you know debunk some of the things that they say and um they always tell me that no 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 you can't you can't come up you can't come up and sometimes they bring me up we, we argue about it i try to tell them that oh no it's not like this it's not like that there was a time they even mentioned that Igbos eat humans you know i was like the, you know they, they changed our history totally there was a day i came back home I started to search about my history. I started to search if I'm really, you know, an evil person. You understand? Because the things that they say, to be honest, if you are not strong, you, you get depressed. You know, so I see a lot of evil people also complaining on FYP, making a little bit of video because Igbos don't really, Igbos are not very good with this social media thing. To be honest, what, since TikTok came out, this is actually my, my first time you know i think four months ago being on tiktok yeah and um 
so they, they actually they were just saying a lot of things and you know saying that uh, they're going to unalive the ebos they are going to pound uh they, when they get to benin they're going to pound the kids they're going to look for a lot of kids little kids that they will make sure that these kids don't grow because if they grow up they're going to be uh, terrorists you know that um Nandikano is training the Igbos, uh the Igbos, Igbo women and men on how to you know to be bandits and you know different things that sometimes i come home and i'm to be honest i'm a very emotional person i, I was even at, at some point i was thinking that oh maybe tiktok is not for me maybe i should i should leave uh tiktok but then i just wanted to debunk those things that they said because i am i'm, I'm, a, I'm a core evil woman from a number of states you know so um i tried to talk to some of them but um they did not uh, hold on one second who is that who is there that is that dial yeah. okay did you, did, you did you send me a test today yeah. okay okay I'm, I'm coming i'm on the live stream okay okay thank you sorry about that everybody so um so that so i was sometimes i come home i go on google to check if actually what my parents told me about my history is right you know this is these are these are narcissists because they 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 hurt you and they don't want you to cry and when you complain they call you cry cry baby you guys feel you are marginalized always you guys are always complaining you guys are this you guys are that that's why you guys are not nigeria if you if you want to go go you guys want to go go this is just divide don't just go we, if you go we will give you your five plot of uh, land or whatever they say they always say, there's this guy they call him sima and sima on tiktok he's a he's a biafran before but i think something happened so he left the the ipob group and he started talking from this guy comes on live and he talks about ipob from morning till evening he brings evil people up to his platform because he, you can send a request and they bring you up he brings evil people up and once you come up he asks you i don't know where he gets those questions question upon and then he brings another guy both of them you know they i think they all they already pre-planned pre so many things before they come they come on live right because the way they put put out the question they very consistent they ask you a question about the Igbo history the, if you're if you're about to answer that question they put they put another one to you and you see a lot of Igbo people are not on social media and they're not used to social media and you, you can you can just tell that those guys that come up on that platform they are not really good on social media because the way you, you even see those Igbo guys pleading please now let me talk now my brother let me talk now please that, that, that's that's bully that's intimidation Amaka, you know Amaka, Amaka, sorry sorry I'm, I'm not trying to cut you because i um a lot of people who are here they are a lot of people are impatient because of what is already happening and uh, okay yeah so what i really want to zoom in on i really really wish i had um your visuals because it will really make it, it will make this make more meaning because um honestly talking and you're there and people are not seeing you at this critical time it's really it doesn't make it look good i know you're upset but i told you listen yeah Thank you know, you know. exactly even though it's dark but okay. um, yeah it, it's dark if you have a little light it'll make it better you're not bad come on women i always <laughs> no i um, i look stressed up i don't want them taking my no they, they have done a lot i don't want them taking my picture of everywhere okay no problem because yeah yeah they always, they're always, they're always yeah. Free record yeah, this is this is this is yeah this is this is good this is this is okay i can manage this so what i was trying to say is this right um i will play the videos that you sent to me because my one of my primary assignments here is i want to know what prompted that video that we saw by the way what was going on when you said that then was it on your channel were you a guest in another channel no it was my it was my channel because oh, i yeah. i opened um i grew my page okay so the the videos you sent me where are those videos from the ones i want to play now okay so when all these things started happening people contact people, people, people contacted me and told me that oh you know you know you have to you, you know you have to debunk this because if you don't debunk it People are going to be like, oh, okay, you're a troublesome person. I'm not. So 
um, they started telling me, okay, I have a video um, of uh, where Joy was talking about you, about Igbos. Somebody, somebody DM me again. I said I have this, and then um, during that time, I I was recording some of some of their conversation that are very sensitive. So um, I can two of them. I I did. I made the screen record myself. And there's a lot that people have been sending to me, a lot. Like, I can't even go to my TikTok right now because um, I can't even open my DM because the, the messages there are not um, very okay. So it's, so let me ask you this. Amongst these videos, which, is it the two that you screenshot yourself that really provoked that video that you, you guys made? Yes. So, so which, one, which one is that? There's... Um, um, the one that really the one that really provoked me was when one guy said that he will be going to there, there will be a function in austria that he will that he will poison the evils okay i'm going to play i'm going to play you tell me which video is it is it that one is it that one um it, it, i have it here though i don't know the one i i, I have a lot i'm so sorry i've been so no, no, so no. nice no it's okay it's okay if you play it i can i can tell you whether it's um is the one to form a better opinion or to have a better judgment so like i always say let everybody be coming down Mr. Daniel, i will i will still talk to you you are on the fyp you have to receive you have to receive my course are you listening to me? You and all your generation, all your Igbo generation, the Biafra, all the Hindu won't koko, you shall perish. This your protest you are bringing, no protest is going to work because we know you people are the people hiding under the protest. It's not going to work. You will say you don't have handle, you don't want to protest, so you are the one championing it. And uh, this uh, useless uh, Peter will be with his small useless voice. He's the one financing this uh, this uh, protest. So you shall all die. You shall die. That river ninja will bury you in river ninja. Come, just start your, your fucking protest. We know you are people under under this protest. When you start it, you will see what will happen. You people will die and nothing will happen. Heaven will never fall. So that's it. So when, make we begin the show then. Maybe you do it. Uga muda you have to train. Una mi obi go kiko ke. Shola pane. Ima ya viya ya yiga. Ima na mi anaswe na mi be osra. Kisli. Wa we check una ne ya we. 2017. The person we sees the afla flag for stadium. Na mi do one we go court. And I defeat them. One man I ask for the making. Any party we go there they see me enter there. Because a moya kine they don't say I go run them enter them. And they don't give me food now. We I go take run enter them. I don't know how um you why know, they did they, they I don't know but this video of um Petrucci with the shake uh new face I did don't try this to above Benin if not men they will behead you as in the common child no time are evil they are not good people so south africa as i say it again if you are from south africa from namibia from zimbabwe anywhere you come from run from there i don't community they do our 31st anniversary <laughs> may i take poison me a managing an aqua reserve i will ask you your life i go teach them lesson i will teach them lesson i will teach them lesson i will teach them you know those bad news you hear in Nigeria? Those bad news, majority of them, they come from this Igbo clan. My people, Africans, unite and stop Igbo. That is all I want to say. Thank you very much. So, if you do not really do what going here, if you do not really do any penny person who stand on this way of freedom, we go match a pass. Whether you do pass or we go match a pass. Whether you do match a pass, we go match a pass. No, no, no. We no, no. get, we get xenophobia from Nigeria. Xenophobia we get from Nigeria like the Igbo. They are the second xenophobia like South Africa. Yes. Let me talk. Shut up your mouth, Mr. Man. I'm talking. Don't shut up your mouth when I'm talking. Look, this is the problem here. South Africans, I want you to understand that there is a particular group of Nigerians that are causing problems. You're going to tell us to go and fix our problem. Yes, you are right. Hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on
we know the people who are causing problems in your country and these people we ourselves as nigerians we want them gone don't go if, if you don't want them there in your nigeria what must we do about them you must come and face them don't come and lecture us with your nonsense here don't listen to him Jamie. that guy is a clown you know what? I don't like this thing of these people coming on here and then they have their own time. Thank you. Thank you, know? you very And then much when, we come, when we speak about Nigerians, the Yorubas will come and say, but not us, you know? They cash you. And when they are now they monitor on back to back now for legal states. Now do anyhow, now they will quench in back. Everyone, they do not come and do the protest. If you try it, Yamin, Yamin, you see my. Uh, this is in our open man. They don't, they don't give me any before. I'll be open man. I don't have to tell And see, you have to people. Not to be me. You can't ask me to go out. So you want to say, you can't ask me. You can't ask me to go out. 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 You can't ask me Kalone yo bi fashion la ni. Adibo, what you go show now for this Lagos here? You know, no feet. Okay. So just an invitation that the federal, federal government told uh, the Canadian police that I'm a terrorist. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, okay. Nigerian Nigerian government. Nigerian government is it, uh, exactly. police that I'm a terrorist. Uh, you know, you know, you know. Many of you don't know what we are passing. They have written also a letter here to tag every IPOB terrorist. The same thing they did. Are you serious? Yes, now. Nah, uh, normally we're supposed to educate some of some of you that not into what we're doing. I mean, who maybe you just encounter us. They have uh, the police summon us, the whole IPOB member in this Austria. We went to the police station with the representative, which I was I, I was among, and we went there. They, they gave us the letter that uh, they said we should stop the Nigerian government said they should stop all our activities that were we are terrorists and you know uh europeans are not they are not foolish so they they now ask us what we do for a living they monitor our activities and they say we should go that we are not even since that time any event they want to do they will invite us to come wow yes yes you see Nigerian government is telling Canada that he's terrorists you see how could now here our sister, that's, don't, that's don't be offended. The, the people are hearing your voice. I hope it's not a problem. No, it's okay. It's okay. No, no problem. I, I'm just, I was just wondering because a lot of people were just uh, messaging me on my WhatsApp and saying that uh, I'm in jail. Like, how? how? <laughs> you, you, go to, you, go to, you go to jail, right? <laughs> if you don't go to court, then you'll take it to jail. No, it doesn't work that way. So, again, this is something that now that the full story is coming out and now that Amaga is coming out and defending herself, you can see why she got agitated. And the question for the Nigerian government and for Abike Dabiri is, what are we going to do now to those other people? Is it possible for the Nigerian government to retrieve their faces and have the pictures pasted everywhere like they did with Amaka Asombaga? And is it also possible for the Nigerian government to also go after those people and take them in for questioning like they did for America because the laws were applied fairly to everybody. Nobody's above the law. And this is very, very sad. I did, Niger, we don't deteriorate to this level. This is what we've come into. A nation where people don't even like each other. They don't want to be around each other. Even though we are united and at the end of the day, we are the same ones that travel abroad and talk about racism, talk about xenophobia. No, no, even in Niger, there's this much hate against the different tribes among ourselves. So it's something that is very appalling. And very very sad so now that's very very touching i'm glad that she was released and i'm also happy that uh, canada is a country that respects human rights and they have due process and they're not just going to detain people indefinitely as we speak the ohanesi of indigo who was responding to the oba of lagos talking about throwing people in the lagoon he's still in jail as of today he's in prison and there's nothing the government is doing about it. So where people act with impunity and some tribes are favored over another, it appears anyway, just by going with the look of things, you begin to question the authority and question the government. And in Canada, where they seem to fear law and they apply the law equally to everybody, you can see she's released. And it seems like she's very happy and she's even getting back again on social media. So... It's just something to consider looking at the whole history of Nigeria and with a case like uh, Sunday Boho and uh, Mazi Namdekanu. And Sunday Boho uh, was allowed to walk, uh, walk free while Namdekanu is still in jail. 
So there are many instances where the Igbos are marginalized. And uh, this shed more light uh, to the situation. And it also maybe exonerates Amaka Somberger a little bit. I don't know if I wear her if I be going to Nigeria anyway. Because Nigerian government might still be wanting her. And I'm sure she's probably a wanted person in Nigeria. But the action item is for Abike Dabiri and the Nigerian government to go after those other people in the audio that I played earlier on. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like this video and uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Bye guys and I'll catch you in the next one.